What's going on everybody and on this week's hunt episode we get to hang out with my good friend Diamond Dave We get to hit up a couple of Walmarts and Targets and we get to find some cool stuff And I also get a figure that I pre-ordered over a year ago Well, finally came in, thank the figure gods Popping everybody, it's Saturday, and we're back on the hunt. And joining me on the hunt is the one, the only, the brightest of diamonds. What is up, everybody? Hello, hello. Happy Diamond Saturday, Dave. like you said. Exactly. So we're here right now. We're outside of good old Walmart. Now there are a couple of things that I picked up earlier in the week that I'll show you when I get home. I can't wait to show you that stuff. I'm sure you've already seen it because I've posted it on social media. If you're already following me, so whatever but it's okay though because we're gonna show it in the video anyway but let's go into Walmart and let's see what they got guys walking up and we see the superpowers display which our Walmarts rarely ever get these displays right yeah exactly um, we got Superman we got Batman we got Green Lantern John Stewart we got dark side um, we got the uh, Batwing and the Supermobile which is pretty cool um, why would Superman hate? I know, why would Superman need, and, and have hands that punch? Do? Yeah. They were doing a lot of coke back then. <laughs> um, Alright, we're down the figure aisle right now. Here's some Jurassic World stuff. Um, nothing special over here. Here's some Buzz Lightyear. We got some Transformers. Uh, Coronation Starscream, Galvatron, Cybershark. We got Black Panther and... What is that? The uh, Nakia? We got, uh, what is that? Some of the Mech Strike stuff. Yep. Here's some multiverse stuff. We got uh, the Three Jokers Batman. We got Batman. We got Penguin. Demon. Superboy. Uh, comic. Uh, we got Quills and Landos. Everybody's favorite peg warmer. We got the uh, Mission Fleet Razor Crest. Got Super Mario, Sonic, got some of the uh, Power Ranger VHS figures. Uh, let's see, let's see, some Fortnite. It's the guy from Fortnite! Hate when my kids watch that video. We got uh, some Motu stuff. Here's some wrestling. We got Braze, Cody's, Santana Ortiz, Series 1, Unmatched. Uh, some Basics. And... That seems to be about it. There's some Sting Buddies, uh, some Five Nights at Freddy's, and yeah. They also have a thing over here, some clearance stuff, but uh, I don't see anything worthwhile. We got uh, Superman, we got Sleepwalker in Despair, but is $17 really clearance? I don't think so. They got an AEW ring, Yellow Power Rangers. Goldberg this figure should be like 10 bucks by now I mean just saying so all right well let's go ahead and let's take a look over at the good old NECA Funko section all right so we're here at the NECA Funko section we got some pops uh, we got some of the oh there's an art series Vader from Hoff which is cool uh, let's see what else oh abominations not as bad as Mike's abomination <laughs> turtle but it's it's pretty close it's yeah not a big it's, fan of those. We got uh, some Funko Gold, Garbage Pail Kids, some miscellaneous stuff. We got Beetlejuice, some Spawn, Wolfman, Halloween, The Mummy, Dragon Ball 2-Pack, Goliath, and a bunch of Shredder and Splinters. Fantastic. Oops. Bunch of one-ups, though. Yeah. Bunch of one-ups. They got more of They do. And here's some uh, Walmart-exclusive Funko stuff. So, all right. Well, that was fun, huh? Oh, absolutely. All right. Really, really. It, it, was, it was riveting. All right. Uh, we're going to figure out where we're going to go next, and we'll see you guys once we get there. All right, guys. We're here, and we're at good old Bits and Buttons. So we're going to go inside, see what they got, see what's going on in the store, and uh, have some fun. Guys, we're here right now in 
bits and buttons and here is the G.I. Joe case and he's got some cool Cobra Vipers and Troopers over there um, see, see Cobra back there got Bazooka see I know some of the G.I. Joes I'm a little versed um, hey there's Big Jeff what's up Big Jeff uh, let's see we got some Lucy's we got some classified figures um, here's some turtle turtle stuff we got little turtles little turtles uh, let's see let's see let's see we got turtle fighters which I guess those are the knockoff turtles we got Muckman we got sergeant bananas uh, let's see oh we got one of the uh, what is that one of the the tune one of the Neptune guys I think that's what that is we got mutant man got the airplane the Cadillac um, looks like he did some rearranging. Um, got some of the uh, Star Wars stuff over here. Here's some of the Super 7 Turtles. Uh, we got all his Black Series over here now. So there's Omega, Ahsoka, Echo, some Sword Troopers, Bo-Katan, Koska Reeves. Got the Mandalorian. There's the Emperor, Dungar. Oh! We got Potato Head Star Wars. Potato Head. Oh, look at this beast. Got a Razor Crest. We got a Razor Crest. We got an ATST. Got some vehicles. Here's some three and three quarter stuff. Over here, we got Shea Vizla. We got the Child. We got Mando. We got Death Watch. We got Mace Windu. We got Jawas. Ooh, Jamie. Let's see. He's got some hot toy action going on over here. We've got the Mark V, Doctor Strange, Black Widow, Ahsoka, Rocket, Mysterio. We've got uh, Miles Morales and Spider Gwen up there. And then what's cool is that. Hey, guy, you're in my shot. I didn't know you were recording. Come on. So. I will kick your ass. <laughs> So, when you start, here's uh, and then we give him three Black and Widow, and Doctor and Strange, got Mysterio, got Miles Morales, Soka, Captain America, we got Leonardo. So, they this used to be their Funko case, now they changed it for all their statues. Now it's what? Huh? It used what to be that. No, now it's your hot, hot toys. There you go, there you go. Do the other I don't, go, do I the don't go. want to imitate it because well, I'm not an imitator. That's true. I'm not an imitator. No, Only you can say that. No, you're you're an originator. I'm an originator, correct. <laughs> an originator and an innovator. Exactly. You gotta innovate. Innovate. To succeed. Innovate. Uh so uh what's going on, buddy? That's you know, another day in another day in the life of a toy guy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, yeah. We sell toys yeah. here. We got some we got some vintage stuff going on? Yeah, we had some vintage Star Wars. A lot of vintage Star Wars coming in this week. Oh, that's good. Ton of vintage Star Wars. Well, that's in your wheelhouse because you're a vintage yes. Star Wars guy. I am not a vintage well, Star Wars guy. Well, he is. He's a vintage Star Wars guy. He's a vintage yeah. Star Wars guy. I just guy. know enough to make money. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. He knows enough to make me more money. There's a difference. Hey. 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 Yeah. So, yeah, we got a lot of vintage Star Wars coming in. We actually have Black Series coming in Ooh. today. Should be fun. Yeah, we got a lot of Star Wars. Star Wars is easy to move. It's just, it's one of the highest uh, marketed items. It's the easiest thing to sell. I got you. All right. Let's continue on the journey. So, here's a Transformers case. Uh, Japanese Optimus Prime. Let's see, we got another Optimus Prime. We got a Bayformer back there. There's some more Transformers stuff. Here's their miscellaneous wall. Let's see. We got Cowboys of Mesa. We got Hercules, Last Action Hero. We got Dick Tracy. And they, got a, they got a proton pack from Spirit Halloween. And I think I was with Dave when he bought that for himself. That was actually pretty funny. Um... Here's their vintage case over that. They got more Cowboys of Mumesa. Some Thundercats. Uh, let's see. We got some of those uh, Ghostbuster cards. He was telling me that these are blank cards that were never used that he got graded that were actually pretty cool. So, all right. <clears throat> let's make our way over to the other side and keep looking around. Guys, here is the good old wrestling case. One of my favorite spots to come to. 
I don't see anything already that I don't have or that I want. Uh, we got some Galoobs, looks like, with the Steiner Brothers. Got some Legion of Doom. Got a few uh, Sergeant Slaughter Hasbros. We got the Rockers. Um, we got Tito Santana. Got Brutus, Sid Vicious, Hogan Warrior, Brett. Oh, what is that? Let's do a little zoom in on that guy. That's good old Rick Steiner. I don't have that. I need him. So probably going to wind up grabbing that. Uh, looks like they got a fun school macho man. Pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. Got some graded pieces down there. It's Sting! We got Cody. We got some Rocky stuff. Uh, do I see anything that even remotely might pique my interest? Oh, that's cool. They got the Legends... Uh, Macho Man, they got the Elite Hogan with the two different shirts. Um, any guys on card that I don't have? No, I got all those guys. There's some basics. There's some classic superstars. Oh, we got a Mean Gene. There's a Toy Biz Roddy Piper. Got Ultimate Warrior behind there. Uh, some Stomp, some Signature Series. Got the uh, Unchained Fury, Booker T. Got Angle. Got the Draft, Booker T. Got Lita. Uh, yeah, there's R3 Tech Edge. Here's a bunch of Funkos coming down, coming down here. Uh, here's some Lego sets. Lego sets. We got the uh, Quinjet. We got the Adidas sneaker. Some Venom. The Infinity Gauntlet. Batmobile. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, here's some more pops. Here's their pop case. Boy, they got a huge collection. I guess they must have came in of Walking Dead pops. Oh, look. They got Michonne and Michonne's pets. I remember when those were like highly sought after. Uh, let's see. Got some statues, got some Stiltmans in there, got Ursa Major, Venom, Joe Fixit. Uh, here's some Mego figures. Uh, we got some of the Toy Biz stuff. This thing is just really cool. I look at this thing every time I come in here, this Weapon Ecclesalab. This shit is so badass. Uh, let's see, we got some of the three and three quarter legends that came out. Uh, got Hobgoblin, Storm, Beast, uh, Falcon. Got some legends over here. He's got an Omega Red, uh, Spider Man, Worthy Cap. Looks like, oh, hey. There you go. Here's uh, Captain America, John Walker. I think this was the Walmart exclusive one. Might grab this because I, I never got this one. Um, it's got the Walgreens thing. Got Polaris and Havoc, got Professor X, got the 420th, yeah, the 20th anniversary cap, got some Batman, oh, he's got the uh, quarter scale NECA Batman that came in, some Swamp Things, and some McFarlane stuff, got some vehicles, so, oh, we got Aquaman, and uh, yeah, all right, well, let me figure out what I'm going to go take, and uh, I'll meet back up with you guys uh, momentarily. There's Dave doing Dave things, so uh, yeah. All right, guys, we are done now at Bits and Buttons. Um, I did pick up a Marvel Legends figure, but I will show you that when I get home. Uh, right now, I'm kind of confused because it looks like this gentleman is here peeing in the bushes, but hey, that's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, we're here <laughs> outside of Target. Um, that is just the most randomest thing ever, I swear. I'm sorry. I just ha I had to point that out. Um, but, the, yeah, I'm so, I, I just lost my train of thought. I can't believe that just happened. All right, well, we're here inside Target now, so let's go. Guys, we're down the figure aisle right now. We got Stacy Keebler. We got Kane. We got Batista, Hogan, Mr. T's, X-Pac, Brian Cage, Powerhouse, 
Uh, we got a Ricky Starks and the Thunder Rosa, which of these are out, which there's a good chance I possibly missed out on the chases here. So that kind of blows. Um, we got the client. We got some Jawas. We got Leia from the Ewok Village. We got Mayfield, Anakin, Lando. Uh, let's see. Got the Millennium Falcon. We got King Grayskull. We got Beast Man. Got some Buzz Lightyear stuff. Here's some Jurassic Park stuff going on over here. And then spin it around. Here's some uh, Transformers. We got the uh, Lobo, a Cyclone, got Armored Batman, Owl Man, the Riddler, uh, some of the uh, comic figures. Uh, let's see, we got Sabretooth, Siren, it's Wolverine, Thor. We got the M'Baku Groot. So. All right, so nothing, nothing here that gives me the warm and fuzzies. Uh, let's go see if there's anything over at the NECA Funko section. All right, we're here at the good old NECA Funko section. We got the Thing, the Wolfman, Gremlins, Halloween, some Toonie Terrors, some Funkos. Uh, we got a good old Marty McFly over here. Take me away. I don't mind. I wish this section would get fixed in time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's about it. But I do, however, need to find a Target employee because I have some questions and maybe they can assist. So uh, let me find an employee and then uh, we'll figure out what I'm going to do with my goddamn life. All right, guys, we left one Target to go to another Target because, well... I'm trying to track something down and I don't want to give away what I'm trying to track down because well you know I don't want to throw anybody off on, on the scent <laughs> so uh, and I'm not, and I'm being selfish with this one all right and when if when I do find it you guys will understand so we're gonna go into Target right now and hopefully they have it the guy at the Target the last Target we're at gave me correct information and uh, maybe we'll get lucky guys we're down the figure aisle right now we've got the uh... Maggot, Wolverine, Vulcan. We got this uh, DC Direct Batman that comes with the Black Adam comic. Uh, let's see, we got some other Black Panther figures. Um, I got stuff stuffies. Uh, let's see, we got Reaction GI Joes. We got Owl Man, Batman and Hush. We got Reverse Flash. Uh, we got some Transformers. Oh, we got the uh, Robin from the Dark Knight series. Uh, Coronation Starscream. Nothing. Let's see what's down the other side. Uh, we got some Jurassic Park stuff going on. Uh, Buzz Lightyear, some Pixar figures. We were actually just looking at this at the other Target. This these Fortnite figures are actually kind of cool so oh look at that they got a glider with a figure stand now huh here's some more Buzz Lightyear some Motu uh, let's see got some black series here's a uh, uh, Carrion Cross and the gladiator outfit oh there you go got Cesaro's last WWE figure we got Powerhouse Hobbs, Thunder Rosa. Uh, we got Batista. Got some basics. Lex Luger, Lex Luger. Oh, there's a uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I haven't seen that one in person. There's a uh, T-Bar, and we got a man at a time, Koshida, but he's now with TNA. So, nothing. No. 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 All right. Well. What I was looking for, they don't have. It took forever to find an employee. Well, you know, that's kind of busy on a Saturday. So, all right, let's go make our way over to the NECA Funko section and see what's over there. All right, guys, here's some Flash Gordon, some Spawn, Gremlins. Got East Ventura, uh, some Toonie Terrors, Predator, King Kong, and some other miscellaneous stuff. Here's uh, the uh, Doctor Strange with the comic. Got the Rock and Cena once in a lifetime, but they actually fought twice, so is it really once in a lifetime? 
Yeah, that's about it. All right. I think there's a Walmart down the street, which we're going to go check and see if we have any luck over there. Maybe we can find Dave some turtle stuff and uh, go from there. All right, guys, no luck at Target. So we're here right now at a Walmart and we're going to go in through the home and garden section. Well, because you know what? Sometimes shortcuts pay off. So let's go inside. As we're down the figure out right now, here's some Jurassic Park stuff. We got some Buzz Lightyear. Uh, we got some G.I. Joe, but it's all Lady J. Got some more Transformers. We got Cybertron Universe Override. That's a new one. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Looks like they got the complete wave sitting here. But in a previous video, you guys remember I said that I wanted that Havoc. So since they have that, I will definitely be picking this up. And they got, who else they got? They got uh, Darwin, Maggot, Siren, Wolverine, and Vulcan, and Sabretooth. Um, here's some DC stuff. What do they got here? Batmans, Armored Batmans. They got some of the superpower things. They got Superman's Mobile and the Batwing. Thanks, man. No, it's cool. Hey, hey, thanks for support, man. See, there no you go. Problem. You made the video. You <laughs> I appreciate you trying to be cool, cool about it, though. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I got you. Oh, they got the, uh, this is cool, the, uh, the Boba Fett launch edition, which comes with Boba Fett and Finnick. This is kind of cool. Uh, they got Galvatron. Uh, they got Princess Leia, Lando, Dengar. They got new attorney, uh, He-Man. Pretty cool looking figure. Uh, let's see. We got the uh, superstars Hogan, Flair, there's Bray. Uh, Jeff Hardy's are down there. Oh, it's Piggy. Oh, it's a glow in the dark Piggy. So, all right. Uh, let's go find Dave. Oh, you're on the other side? All right. Well, we're going to go on the other side to get Dave, and then we're going to go to the NECA Funko section. But score on the Havoc. All right, so Dave found some of these Funko balls in here, but balls. he says, but he says they're garbage. Not so. with your money, no. So okay, um, there's some stuff over here. You got the uh, Wolverine bus, some Stranger Things, some Garbage Pail Kids. Hey, we got a Wolverine. Um, got D Generation X, some of the art series pops. Uh, let's see what's over here. We got some of the bigger pops over here of Funko Gold. Nothing special. What is it? Anything over there? No. no, there's some pops and some stuff over here. Looks like there's some Emerald City exclusives. Um, there's a Black Adam. There's a Moon Knight. Uh, we got Gremlins, some more Funko Gold, Flash Gordon, and a bunch of Splinter and Shredder two packs. So, all right, so it wasn't a total bust. Um, we got Havoc, which I'm happy about that. And uh, yeah, so we'll figure out where we're going to go next, and uh, we'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, I'm back home. It's late. I'm getting tired. Um, I'm going to go back inside. I'll show you everything that I picked up. And then I'll show you the stuff that I got during the week that obviously you couldn't see on camera. But as always, this guy right here, oh, the, br the brightest of diamonds. If you haven't already, make sure you go subscribe. Link is in the description below. Diamond Dave Diggs. That's it, baby. Triple so, so Dave, I'll see you when I see you, brother. Always, bro. Pleasure, always. And uh, yeah, guys, we're going to go back inside and uh, show you what I picked up. Hey, guys, and we're back home. So... Not much luck on the hunt today. Um, we did go to that Walmart first. Nothing there. We did wind up going to Bits and Buttons. I did pick up this Captain America at Bits and Buttons because I realized, well, I didn't have this one in my Captain America collection, so uh, I needed it. And the reason I know that is because I have an ongoing list of stuff that I need. I keep it on my phone. I'm always with me, so that way I don't forget. And also, you know, I don't double purchase anything that I already have. So that right there is key key in helping. So we wound up getting this Captain America from the Captain America and Falcon Winter Soldier. Yeah, Falcon and Winter Soldier show. So too many Captain Americas. So there you go. Then we went to another Target 
which we didn't have any luck there. Then we went to another Target. We didn't have any luck there. Then we went to um, Walmart and we wound up finding this Havoc from the X-Men Legends wave, the new the new wave. Um, I like this Havoc only because it's a comic inspired Havoc. I like the look of the figure. Besides, I need to grab more stuff to do figure reviews on. So I figured this seemed like a cool figure to do a review on. So we grabbed Havoc. Um, then that brings us to what actually came in during the week, like I told you guys in the beginning of the video. So we're gonna start out first with Thursday. Thursday, we found the mother of all figures. Um, it wasn't the Chase, but it was the Walmart exclusive. Um, I didn't get it on camera because I, well, I ran to the store in sheer excitement just to make sure that I got it. So here it is. We got the Walmart exclusive CM Punk from Unrivaled um, series. I mean, this isn't part of a series, so yeah, because it's just a, a Walmart exclusive. So we wound up getting the CM Punk. Um, there is the Hangman exclusive that's out there. I haven't seen that yet, so I got to keep my eye out for that. But we got another CM Punk, and of course, as you guys know, I've stated this numerous times already, I'm a huge CM Punk guy, so of course, I'm glad I had to get this. The only other thing I'm trying to track down is the Chase, so hopefully I'll find it at retail and not have to pay through the roof, which if you guys are checking out eBay right now, which I suggest you go check out eBay and look at what the prices of those things are listed for and have sold for, and it's gonna kind of make your head spin a little bit. Um, that was Thursday night. Thursday during the day, I stopped off at Target and I wound up finding the Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows two pack. So this is the new packaging. This is the first time I've seen the new packaging in hand. And I gotta tell you, I'm really worried about this uh, because again, I'm always worried about figure swaps. Um, you can run into issues when you go to return the figure, especially if someone did figure swap you. So hopefully I'll open it up when I do the review on this and uh, both figures will be in there. You just gotta pray to the fig gods on this one. So there it is, the Renew Your Vows two pack, which is cool and then again, you guys can see the back so super excited to get this one unboxed and in the light box for reviewing and then last but certainly not least i've waited i've posted about it if you guys are following me on instagram you know exactly where i'm going with this so after a full year to the date of waiting it finally came in the wwe ultimate edition fan takeover exclusive Hulk Hogan. Now, I'm a little upset because I guess, you know, I keep, you know, again, well, I'm going to take this out anyway, but still, the fact that the hands came out of the holsters in there and it's loose and you can hear them rattling around in there, I mean, it really doesn't make a difference because, like I said, I'm going to open it up anyway, but just in case I didn't want to open it up, now it sucks because I have to open it up because I got to get the hands back into place. But regardless of the fact, here it is. We finally got it when people were getting theirs canceled. Um, and the funny thing is that I don't even know why Amazon was canceling the orders, especially when they put it back up for order, which doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. So I'm glad finally after a year of waiting, it's finally in my hands. Hulkamania is in my hands. I have the power of Hulkamania in my hands. That's the best way I can describe it. So there we go. Other than that, guys, not much of a haul this week. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. So as always, guys, thanks so much for joining me on another toy hunting episode. Again, guys, I'll leave the link in the description below for Diamond Dave. Make sure you check him out. Guys, also don't forget, UltraCon is next week. Me, George, maybe a few other of the guys might be there. We're going to be doing some live streams from there. We're also going to be maybe possibly getting to interview some celebrities. Keeping my fingers crossed for that Kevin Nash interview. I would love to talk to him um, a little bit about wrestling, but more about the Super Shredder stuff because that's kind of really why he's there is for Super Shredder. So I don't really want to, you know, step on any toes if I do get to interview him. So I'm hope hoping I can I can get that. And then also maybe we can get Ernie Ray, Ernie Ray's Jr., who was Kino in the Ninja Turtles movie. And uh, we can get to talk to him too about what it was like to be Donatello's stunt double and also be in the movie as well. So, uh... That'll be uh, cool to uh, discuss. But again, guys, UltraCon is next Saturday and Sunday. Make sure you come by. Make sure you come check us out. Again, me, George, maybe a few other guys might be there. I know Bits is going to be there. Dom's going to have a booth. So make sure you swing by and check him out. And uh, yeah, again, all the information for UltraCon will be in the link in the description below if you want to purchase tickets. 
And that's it, guys. So if you like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. As always, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another episode of What's Popping gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content we always offer right here at MCE. And until next time, guys, that's What's Popping. <laughs>